What's going on guys? What's up? Today, we're gonna get into a little test. We've got $1,300 binos versus $300 binos. Is it worth it? Let's, let's get to it. Let's find out. Ah, uh, the decision that every hunter comes to. Should you invest in good binos? Like $1,300 invest? Or can you get away with the cheaper option? Maybe something around $100 to $300? Well, let's put it to the test. For the sake of comparison, we're using the same brand. The exact same metrics. Uh, this is a 10 by 42, and this is also a 10 by 42. Basically, that means it's a 10 times zoom, 42 millimeter glass. The only difference is, this is a lower quality glass, and that's a higher quality glass. Is it worth it? So we put together a test. Justin's gonna stay put and take both binos. I'm gonna move to a specific distance and I'm gonna throw up a number. If he can read the number through the binos, those binos pass the test. We will continue furthering the distance until the binos can't pass the test. And in theory, the more expensive ones should be able to see further. But I think you might be surprised. Of course I'm the, of course, what? Of course I'm the one that has to go out in the scorching heat. How far is this? We're going 50 yards for the first test. I am honestly not sure what to expect from this. I think I personally own the $300 Diamondback HDs, and I wanna say that those are pretty comparable. I've used them both. They're a little bit less clear, but come on, they can't be that bad. Can you hear me? I can, can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. So right now, what is your guess? Do you think that do you think the Diamondbacks are that much, that much worse than the Razors? If it's within 100 yards, I'll be, I'll be pretty impressed. I'll be impressed too, but I think a lot of it comes down to like how clear it is. So I don't necessarily think they went with distance as their main thing. I think a lot of it's just like how, like how clear it is. Well, in theory, if it's more clear, you should be able to see further, but okay, let's, let's go for it. I'm gonna set you down here. I'm gonna give you an easy one. First up, we're gonna go with the Diamondbacks for the first test of all of them, just to make sure um, in theory, the razor should be able to see further, but we shall see. Five. First one's right. Five. Five. Yep, he got it. So we started the first one at 50 yards because for most people in the woods, that's kind of where you're at. If you're hunting from a tree stand out here in the Midwest, like we do a lot, uh, most of the time that's, that's just about as far as you're gonna see earlier in the season. We're gonna do the next test at 100. 100, 100, 100. Next test, 100 yards. We're gonna get to it, starting with the Diamondbacks again. I'm gonna put up three. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Three. Yep. Three is correct for the Diamondbacks. I can already tell a little bit of a difference uh, as far as he's getting out further, but we'll see. One. Yep. Razor's good as well. All right, we're at 150 yards. All right, we're gonna do two. All right. Two. Yep. Diamondbacks are good. I'm gonna do two again. Two again. Yep. yep. Two is also good. Uh, I'd say step out to 175. Am I looking through it 10 times and looking through a regular rangefinder? Dude, I can't see, it's hard to see him. Yeah, so far I'm pretty impressed with the Diamondbacks, to be honest with you. They're holding up pretty well, you said? Yeah, I can see you pretty well. I can see your fingers pretty well. Um, it just seems like the razors are a little bit more clear, which is to be expected. Three. Yeah. Whew. Go, All right. Razors are back up. I'm just gonna hold up my middle finger. Are you flicking me off? <laughs> One. Yep. 
phone's a little too warm, so I'm gonna I'm gonna sit in here next to the fan. One hour later. I even changed into shorts and Crocs. Ooh, that was impressive. Okay, so this actually drug on for a lot longer than we thought. These binoculars were performing extremely well. So let's skip to the good part. 650 yards. We're at 650 yards right now. I'm thinking this is gonna be pretty close. Let me know when you're ready. Three. Three, you got it, wow, dude. That's crazy. Stay there, I'm gonna try the Diamondbacks just for the giggles. Four. Four. Yeah, that's what I was using. That's what I was. How did I end up being the one that has to walk around in the freaking heat carrying this stupid camera? Freaking butt crack is so sweaty right now. Nearing the end of the property and I'm starting to fear that we don't have enough room. To be honest with you. This is 700? Yep. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Diamondbacks up first. All right, can you see me now? Can you see me now? Yes. Okay. Okay. Four. No, no. Three. three. See, yeah, it's, I, I can get the gist of it, but like that's like, I can't, I wouldn't be able to tell. Okay, so somewhere between 650 and 700 yards is the effective range for the, for the Diamondback. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm actually glad that I bought those. Yeah. But we'll see, we'll see. All right, let's, keep, let's, let's do the razor test at 700 yards. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, five. Okay, that's that, that's to be expected. So they're probably a little bit better. Wanna just go to the end of the property line, like it's not that much further, and we'll yeah. just see if we'll just see if you can get it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I honestly don't think it'd be an issue. I just didn't know they'd get this far. How far am I right now? I'm just on the property line. Like 10 yards. <laughs> Ready? Four. Dude. Dude. We are, yes, it is yeah, four. It is four. We're at the property We're line and he was line. able to get it. That is at 800 yards. What more can you ask for? I guess the money really does get you some, something extra. I thought it was gonna be a little bit closer. Congratulations, Mason, on winning the Discord giveaway last week. We will be sending you those broadheads as soon as possible. We'll be in touch. Speaking of Discord, the next G5 broadhead giveaway will be hosted on Discord yet again. Not only do you have to be in the Discord, but there will be a section to tell your craziest hunting story. We're going to read them all on camera, make a video of it, and your story will be featured on the channel. So type up a good one, and the best story will win a pack of G5 broadheads. All right guys, so it is that hot, it warranted the, the rest creek. of this video to be in the creek. We are the creek king. So, review. At 800 yards, which was our property line, the Razor had no problem seeing. You'll be able to tell what deer it is. Within 150 yards, pretty easy. Within 150 yards, without a doubt. We hunt in the Midwest, we hunt from a tree stand. We, we're never gonna, range that far in the mid like if you're out west i'm sure it would probably, make a probably makes a little bit more of a difference if you're hunting mountains or if you're hunting plains and stuff but here in ohio very rarely unless it's an ag field would, would you even have the ability to range that far if you only have 300 dollars, you're still going to get a pretty they're good quality binocular that's all that we have today thank you guys so much for watching for the next giveaway again another pack of dead meat v2s by g5 we're shipping them out for free all you gotta do is join the Discord, link below. Join it, we're in there every single night. We're chatting with you guys. I think we're up to about 40 members right now, and it's a ton of fun. We're in there in the voice channels, we're talking to you guys, having some great discussions, and it's honestly a ton of fun. I really enjoy getting to know yeah. everybody in there, getting to know all the hunting stories. So for this week's giveaway, for your chance to win the Dead Meat 
V2s by G5, you've got to go to the link in the bio, you got to join our Discord. And if you don't know what Discord is, it's nothing crazy, it's literally an app that you can get on your phone, and uh, you know, we're just always chatting with, with each other, sharing ideas back and forth. We want to get to know you guys, you guys are very important to us. So, this next giveaway, join the Discord, and there's going to be a channel titled Stories. Go in there and type in a, your best hunting story. Or your worst hunting story. Or your worst hunting story. Just the most entertaining. Just and I are going to read them. We're going to create a video and we're going to pick the best story. That person is going to win a pack of Dead Meat V2 broadheads. And G5. you get your story featured Outdoor. on the channel. And you get your story featured on the channels. Now you know. If you have $300 versus $1,300, we'll leave that up to you. What you want to do, you have the facts now. Bye! If you want to see these Vortex Optics in action, watch our previous video where we had big bucks on camera and we were using them. Yeah. The video was about glassing and about summer scouting. Also, check out our TikTok because there's also cool Vortex Optics stuff on there as well. Bye.